Fox Sports Marge are two wrestling superstars. First, now wrestling for New Japan, it's Johnny Lauer! Johnny, what's the best thing about wrestling in Japan? Probably the style of wrestling. The you style know, of wrestling? Like more submission fighting, real fighting, and, you know, probably the, the reason you think it's real because the stuff the girls did to you in school. Oh! now after Dallas Page! Yeah! <laughs> now Dallas, back when you were Diamond Dallas Page, you had a lot of celebrity tag team partners with you now. Who was your favorite? I think Carl Malone was the best because he's the best out The mailman, yeah. yeah. Well, very cool. Thanks for being here, guys. Now, as you know, I went all around the country asking people questions, and I brought those answers back here to see if they can guess whose were uh, all pro and whose answers were strictly minor league. Yeah. And even though you're playing for charity, there's only one Sports Marts champ, so wrestle like the title's on the line. Now, let's meet our three field champs on the screens. First, Lisa tells us who her favorite athlete is. Hint, his name rhymes with Moby. So, Lisa, you spell your name L-I-C-A with yeah. the accent. Yeah. Uh, what, 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 how was that? Uh, how'd you come about that? The C is soft, so it's Latin, Portuguese, and French. I speak English. And who's the hottest athlete? A Kobe Bryant. Kobe's hot, yeah, right. All right. I'm free. Oh. Who's your favorite sports team? Oh, Lakers! Three-time champion. <laughs> All right. And John gets hedgy about the origins of his necklace. So, John, where are you from? What do you do? Uh, Riverside, California, student. I just got a scholarship at uh, Liberty University in Virginia. Sports or? Yeah. Play basketball. So, John, where'd you get this? Who gave you that or did you buy that? Uh, some girl gave it to me. Are you oh, no, not really. I bought it. Okay. <laughs> Would well, you have a girlfriend right now? It's a girl. She's my friend. The girl you're having sex with? No. My mom was watching this. <laughs> to answer some questions. So Alicia, where are you from and what do you do? I'm from Seattle, Washington. I'm actually moving into USC today. Well, today's the day. You're here to move into the college dorm. It's the day I'm here to move in. I was doing a little shopping before and then I'm going to go down and wait in line in the dorms. Now you enjoy sports a lot too, right? I enjoy sports. I've played all kinds of sports. Basketball, soccer, golf, love golf, and I was a cheerleader a couple of years. So. You're on both sides yeah. of the sport. So I like cheering for them too. It's kind of fun. I love football. to figure out who got it right. Lock in your choice and a correct guess earns $100 for your charity. Ready? Okay. Here's the first question I asked Lisa, John, and Alicia. The movie Rudy featured Sean Astin as a kid whose dream was to play football for what South Bend University? Only one of them knew it up there. Is it Lisa, John, or Alicia? So go ahead, lock in. You're both locked in. Let's see. You think it's John, huh, Joni? <laughs> he plays basketball. John plays basketball. Let's see if you got it right for him. The movie Rudy featured Sean Astin as a kid whose dream was to play football for what South Bend University? Mississippi. Oh, Johnny, I'm sorry. That's not a right answer. It was a good answer. It was a good answer. It was right. It was right. Okay, yeah, I need a right answer. Now, Dallas, you think Alicia has it right, right? Well, she said she liked football, so we'll exactly. see. Exactly. All right, Dallas, see if it works. The movie Rudy featured Sean Astin as a kid whose dream was to play football for what South Bend University? Notre Dame. Very nice. Way to go, Dallas. That's the right answer. 100 bucks for you. Way to start yeah. off the game. All right. She was very knowledgeable about all kinds of balls. She was. Oh, my God. Alright, here's the next question. The terms kick flip, grind, and backside tail slide all apply to what sport? What do you guys think? Who knew it? Alright, and you're both locked in. Uh, let's see here. You think it's Lisa this time, huh, Joni? Well, I was, I'm not going to go there. Okay, alright. Well, let's see if she can get it right for you. Check it out. The terms kick flip, uh -huh. grind, and backside tail slide all apply to what sport? Dancing! Show me the grind. Okay. Backside tail slide. Backside tail slide. You know, you backside, you slide that tail. That's a wrong answer, Joni. I'm sorry. Oh, right. All the honeys make like the money. Okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> See, I thought she was right. Right, well, she looked good. Now, Dallas, you think Alicia will get this one right? Let's find out. The terms kick flip, grind, and backside tail slide all apply to what sport? Dancing. Could you show me any of those moves? 
backside, probably have to be turned around, slide a little bit like this. Yeah. Yeah, that's the wrong answer once again. The correct answer, audience, you know what it is? He was right. Skateboarding, yeah. All right, John had that right. Okay, here's the last Don't question around. Okay. If you're driving a Titleist for 300 yards, what are you driving? Go ahead, lock in when you think you know who knew it. <laughs> All right, you're both locked in. You and John got it, Jody. Let's see. If you're driving a Titleist for 300 yards, what are you driving? Uh, the replica of the Titanic. Did you cry at the end of the movie Titanic? Not really. Come on, man. You can actually, you can admit it. No, I didn't. I was like waiting for people to drown. The movie was too long anyway. <laughs> Not a very nice guy. Wrong answer, Joni. I'm sorry. Now, Dallas, you think Alicia has this one? Out of those three, I'm going to go with All it. right, let's see. She says she likes sports. If you're driving a Titleist for 300 yards, what are you driving? You are driving ball. Well, what kind of ball? What are you talking about, though? It's actually a Titleist ball, golf ball. Very good. She got it right, Dallas. Way to go. There's another $100 for you. All right, recap the scores, Joni. You don't have any money right now. Dallas has got $200. You want to do a cheer together? Can I get a credit card first, at least, or something? No, we want to do a cheer now. Do you want to do a cheer? No, I don't cheer. Oh, come on. Cheers are fun. I don't cheer. Okay. We'll be right back then. Ready? Okay. We're back. It's fun. Let's get it on the road. We're back. It's fun. Let's get some money. One. Welcome back to Sports Cards. Okay, my name is Frank. Now, let's hear about our in-studio celebrities and their charities. First, we have the lovely Joni Lauer. Yes, she is a wrestling diva superstar. Now, Joni, tell us about the charity you're playing for today on Sports Cards. Sports I uh, am playing for the Mark McGuire uh, charity, and they help abuse children. And um, uh, this is very, very important. So. Since you said that we should wrestle like the titles on the line, right. I say that if Dallas loses, he has to take his top off. Oh, all right. Well, the challenge has been thrown out. We'll see what happens. Now, we also have uh, Diamond Dallas Page. He's, He's a, a wrestling, wrestling superstar wrestling. right here. We got him. Oh, yes, big fan. Now, Dallas, tell us about your charity. Uh, the International Dyslexic Association. Very nice. Uh, I grew up with dyslexia and ADD. Uh, nice. I couldn't read as a kid coming up. And uh, probably at 30 years old, I was reading at a third grade level. Wow. At 31, I decided I was going to learn how to read. And since then, I've just been, you know, I've focused in. I've found ways to get around it. And Dyslexia Association really helps kids who can't figure it out for themselves wow. like I couldn't. You and uh, earlier, like, uh, yeah, unfortunately, get, you couldn't, though. Yeah. But you came through. Now here. I can read. That's great. Well, thank you very much. It's a really nice story. Thank you both for being here. Recap of the scores right now. Joni, you don't have any money, but there's a long way to go. Dallas, 200 bucks. Like leaving a cheer pyramid before everyone else. It's time to find out who blew it. I have the same question only two at a time. You guys have to figure out who got it wrong. So we're looking for wrong answers this round. You'll lock in a choice and a correct answer to $200 for your charity. Plus there's that dunce cap right there. It can only be used once this round. Now, when you think your opponent does not know an answer, buzz in and dunce them. And if you do, you will hear this sound. That's right, and if they're wrong, you get 200 bucks, but if they're right, they get 200 bucks. All right, here's the first question of the round to both Lisa and Alicia. I asked both ladies, in what competition would you yell, mush? So who blew it? We're looking for who got the wrong answer, Joni and Dallas. All right, so go ahead, lock in anytime you can, Joni. All right, and <laughs> both locked in with Lisa. Dallas, you don't think she'll get this? Uh, I can't believe it. <laughs> okay, let's see if she gets it wrong for both of you. In what competition would you yell mush? Dog sledding. Very good, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, you guys. She got that right. She knew about dog sledding. Alicia was the one who blew it. That's who you should have went with. Okay, here's the next question to Lisa and John. What sport are you playing if you're trying to score with Mia Hamm? What do you think, guys? Who blew it? Who did not know about Mia Hamm? Was it Lisa or John? All right, you're both locked in. Difference of opinion here. You think John doesn't know this one, huh, Dallas? Well, I don't think he does. Okay, all right. If he does, it's 200 bucks for you if he blows it. What sport are you playing if you're trying to score with Mia Hamm? Soccer. Yeah, she's a big female soccer player. Very sexy. <laughs> oh, we got that right, Dallas. Joni, you're on the board because Lisa did blow it for you. Watch this. What sport are you playing if you're trying to score with Mia Hamm? 
Eating. You're oh, eating. Mia Ham. Mia Ham. She she eats. Yes, the professional eating tour. She blew away to go, Johnny. Johnny, we got a tie game. Two hundred dollars each. All right. Last question of the round to John and Alicia. An athlete competing in a triathlon will traditionally swim, run, and what? Which one blew it? Who didn't know that third one in the triathlon? Was it John or Alicia? Dallas looking over the board. He is going to try that one with there. You both locked in with John. If he blew it, it's 200 bucks for each of you, and you have a tie game. An athlete competing in a triathlon will traditionally swim, run, and what? Walk. Okay, bike if you know. There's no walking. What kind of sport would that be? Be walking. They've been doing it all the time. <laughs> That's a wrong answer. Way to go, guys. Two hundred dollars for each. Correct answer: cycling, biking. All right. Recap the scores. Jody, you got four hundred dollars now. Dallas also four hundred dollars. Everyone, we have to go to break. But before we do, Dallas, I was wondering if you wouldn't mind showing me your famous move. You know, the diamond cutter. So bring it on. I'm ready. The audience loves it. So you want to get banged? I'm telling you, I bring it on. No, uh, uh, what I would do normally is grab uh, uh, Wait a second, uh, wait a second. Uh, wait, not prancing. Uh, uh, okay, what I would do is kick my feet out. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Uh, uh, no, 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 Three questions. Now, a correct prediction is worth three hundred dollars in this round for your charity. The gun cap is back. It's worth three hundred bucks. You can only use it once. Now, recap on the scores. We got a close game going here. Uh, it's as close as you can get. Joni's got four hundred bucks. <laughs> Dallas has got four hundred bucks. Now you're both tied. But Joni, you won the uh, preliminary tiebreaker backstage. So who would you like to saddle up first? You're going with who? I am going to go with Alicia. All right, very good. Dallas, how about you? And I will go with Lisa. You're going with Lisa. I put all right. You're locked in with Lisa. All right, we got the lady. All right, here we go, guys. Now remember, there's a dunce cap on this one. What is the nickname of wrestler and the mummy actor Dwayne Johnson? So this is just to Joni. So what do you think? Do you think Alicia got it right or wrong? Oh, I think she got it right. You think she got it? Oh, we're locked in there with right. All right, let's see if we can get you the lead. What is the nickname of wrestler and the mummy actor Dwayne Johnson? Wrestler and the mummy actor Dwayne Johnson. I've Van Diesel. No, that's a wrong answer. I'm sorry, Joni. Of course, it's The Rock was the correct answer. Can't give any money on that one. All right, Dallas, here's your first question, Alisa. In horse racing, what do win, place, and show describe? There's not a chance. No way? All right, let me get to the lead. In horse racing, what do win, place, and show describe? The first, second, and third place. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to be a jockey. <laughs> Oh, and gentlemen. oh, I'm sorry she got it. She actually knew her. She knew the ponies there, Dallas. I'm sorry. Oh, All right, here's your uh, next question to Alicia. Uh, this is for you, Joni. What sports hall of fame is in Cooperstown, New York? Do you think Alicia got that right or wrong, Joni? Eh, that would be no not being big X. All right, let's see. What sports hall of fame is in Cooperstown, New York? Tennis. You know what? It's the greatest sport of all. Do you know what that clue means now? You know what's the... Uh, baseball. Oh, I baseball. I don't know. I don't think it's the greatest sport of all. She got it wrong. Let's go, Joni. 300 bucks for you takes you up to 700. The correct answer being baseball. Okay. All right, Dallas, here's your question to try to tie it up. In boxing, which of these weight categories does not exist? Welterweight, cruiserweight, or rhino weight? So what do you think? Could she get that multiple choice question right or wrong, Dallas? God, I hope so. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> In boxing, which of these weight categories does not exist? Welterweight, cruiserweight, or rhino weight? Oh, welterweight. There's no welterweight? No. Who's no. your favorite boxer? Uh, Muhammad Ali. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's every girl fight disintegrates to that at one point. I'm sorry, Dallas, she actually got that wrong. Rhino weight, of course, does not exist. All right, one question each for you uh, before the last, uh, last round. Uh, Joni, I asked Alicia, if a triathlon is three events and a decathlon is ten events, how many events is a pentathlon? 
I'm going to say wrong. You think wrong? All right, yeah. see if we can get you up to $1,000. If a triathlon is three events and a decathlon is ten events, how many events is a pentathlon? Five events. Very good. Oh, actually, that's the right answer. Pentathlon is five. All right, so you're stuck on 700. Now, Dallas, this is big for you. Do you predict this one correct? Well, the tie game for the wager death. I asked Lisa, in what sport do the champions compete for the Stanley Cup? Uh. Oh, you've been done! Tony, throw that cap up on Dallas's head. You're supposed to you want to put the cap up on his head? Come on, I would, put it yeah, on, Yeah, I'm baby. not going to do it, so you have to put Drop it up there. Thing on. So, Dallas, the question is to you. You have five seconds to answer this. Four. In what sport do the champions compete for the Stanley Cup? Hockey? Right on! You can now take the lead, so this is big. What do you think Lisa did on this one, Dallas? No way. Think she got it? No Wrong? Way. All right, let's see. No way. In what sport did the champions compete for the Stanley Cup? Hockey. It is hockey, yeah. Woo! I got one! Oh, Dallas, I'm sorry. That's okay, because you know what? We like when this happens. Joni, $700. Oh. Dallas, $700 for charity. Now, when we return, Joni and Dallas are making a final prediction on a question I asked to Lisa, John, and Alicia. I asked them, what sport are you competing in if you're on an outrigger? That's right, scarier than a me with a pair of pom-poms. It's time for... The Wager not to exceed your total. Tie game, 700 bucks for Joni, 700 for Dallas. All right, guys, here's the final question of the game. I asked all three, what sport are you competing in if you're on an outrigger? Let's get your choices right now. Joni, tie game, so you want to take home some money for charity. Whose clip do you want to see? Uh, Lisa. You're going with uh, Lisa. Go with Lisa and Dallas, how about you? My girl. Also going with Lisa. All right. That means nobody picked John or Alicia. We're going to say bye to them. Thanks for being good sports here on Sports March. That means one clip left in the show and a tie game. Very exciting. Let's take a look. What sport are you competing in if you're on an outrigger? Tractor pulling. Okay, that is a wrong answer. Correct answer, boat racing, outrigging. Okay, so Joni, you went with Lisa. She got it wrong. What did you say she'd do? Press that button. You said she would get it? You said? I said she would get it wrong. Wrong! Way to go, Joni! How much did you wager your $700? You wagered... I'm a high roller, so I bet it all. You bet it all? Hit that button again. You bet all $700. You have the $1,400. Dallas, the pressure is on. You also went with Lisa. She got it wrong. What did you say, Dallas? You my, said she would get it? My girl. You said wrong! All right, Dallas. Dallas, you had to wager it all for a tie. If not, Joni's going to win. What'd you wager? You wagered... I went for it all. Call 1-877-564-7627 and check us out on America Online, keyword Street Smarts, or on the web at streetsmartstv.com. What sport are you competing in if you're on an outrigger? Uh, gasoline pumping. What sport are you competing in if you're on an outrigger? If you're on an outrigger, you're probably racing your boat. 